Hey guys and welcome to this video. So throughout time I've been making quite a few videos about Denmark, about our culture, Danish lessons, all sort of things. I've been doing how to flirt in Danish lessons, I've been doing five ways to piss up a Danish person and so on. I'm gonna leave my playlist down below with all of my Danish videos and uh, you can go check them out if you want to. In this one we'd be we're gonna be talking, we'll be talking about seven weird traditions that we have here in Denmark. And let me just be honest with you, I had a hard time finding out some traditions that I could tell you guys about because when you are from somewhere, you rarely question the traditions that you follow, you just do it. So these are seven traditions that should be weird for other people that aren't from Denmark. So please comment down below if you think they're weird or if you think they are super cool. <laughs> yeah, let's get started with the weird tradition number uno, one. <laughs> In Denmark we have this tradition where we are giving a cinnamon when people turn 25 and aren't engaged or married. So what people do is that they go out and buy kilos and kilos of cinnamon then you find this person whose birthday it is and you're gonna tie them to, let's say, a pole somewhere outside, mostly in like the traffic, somewhere. And you're gonna tie them and then you're just gonna drown them in cinnamon, basically. And there's also some very horrible cases where <sighs> this is going very bad. This is an example that is not so good. So that is a super weird tradition. Number two is actually something that you guys made me aware of. And that is the fact that we use the Danish flag when we celebrate birthdays and stuff. I went to my sister's birthday a couple of weeks ago and I vlogged it and I was putting Danish flags in her birthday cake which is a very normal thing here in Denmark because when we use the flag around birthdays it's not because we're thinking of the country Denmark but the flag is kind of changing its value when we use it for birthdays it's simply a birthday celebration like we use the flag as you would use balloons or something else. It's simply a symbol of birthday. Yeah, it's it's weird. It might be really weird, but that's also how we use the flag. We use it in so many different festive situations and um, it has nothing to do with like celebrating Denmark. It's just a symbol of celebration, kind of. So yeah, I use that in her cake and we use that so much around holidays. We also put, a lot of people use um, Danish flags on the Christmas tree, so yeah, we do that here in Denmark. Might be weird. The weird tradition number three is J Day, also called Yellow Day in Denmark, and it is the day where the Christmas beer is released. It's simply just another excuse to get really really drunk, but this is one of the days around the year where pubs and all of our drinking places are having the best nights, <laughs> selling the most, making the most money. So it's a really big thing here in Denmark. Pretty much, I don't know, all young people will go out and celebrate on that specific day. So I'm not so weird that we are the 26th most drinking population in the world. And if you want to know, I looked up the US, I know most of you are from the US, and you guys are number 48 on the list. So yeah, that's Denmark. We drink as soon as we have just the smallest excuse to do so. <laughs> Weird tradition number four is that we are burning a witch. On the 23rd of June, we're celebrating uh, Sankt Hans Aften. And in Denmark we gather around bonfires like you do pretty much everywhere as well um, to celebrate this day. But what we do is that we vote for one woman from every city and then we burn her on this bonfire. Um, no, we don't. Don't you worry. But it used to be like that back in the day. You would burn a witch on this fire 
and it was to keep like bad spirits away. Today, we are holding on to that by making dolls and then we burn them. <laughs> yes. That's weird, right? Like, we are a very modern society and we are still burning dolls looking like witches on our bonfires. I don't know, that's weird. But yeah, it is to keep bad spirits away apparently and I don't know who we should ask if it works or not. Weird tradition number five is that we, when we are graduating from high school, we are driving around to celebrate in an open truck. It is a very, very normal thing. We decorate them with banners, balloons, all sort of things. We just decorate them as much as possible and then we're driving around visiting every student's family home throughout the day. So we're driving around from morning to evening, getting super duper drunk. Once again, we're getting drunk and we are visiting everyone. It costs a lot of money, but it's a fun day. I've done it as well when I graduated in 2014. We were driving around. I wasn't very drunk though. I think I drank like five cans of something throughout the day. It wasn't that bad, but people were super duper drunk. Yeah. With tradition number six, Danes jump off a chair on New Year's Eve. When we get to like 12 o'clock and we are just beginning the new year, we are gonna jump off chairs, sofas, yeah. And I don't know why it should be better to like jump into the new year instead of just starting out the new year, especially also because on New Year's Eve we tend to be, yeah, we tend to be drunk as well as any other day throughout the year. We tend to be drunk, drunk. so when we're doing this thing with jumping into the new year, it might be a bit dangerous, it might be a bit tricky, but we are doing that. Um, I myself, I must say, is not the big jumping into the new year kind of person, but a lot of people are doing that and you have to be aware that it can be dangerous. <laughs> And the weird tradition number seven, the last one for this video, is that we make Easter letters. And here in Denmark we call them Gegebreo. And it is simply a paper that we cut out in 1000 pieces. And then we write this rhythm teaser kind of thing on it. Where you can kind of guess, maybe you can guess who it's from. Or maybe you can't. And the thing is that... Yeah, you sent these letters out. So if I made one, I would send it to my mom, maybe. It would be dumb of me because she would probably guess me pretty easily. But then I would write some kind of rhythm on it and I will make five small lines for Elise. And if she would guess that it was from me, I would have to give her a Easter egg, chocolate egg. And if she couldn't guess me, she had to give me one. So those were the seven traditions I wanted to mention in this video. I don't know how weird they are. I don't know if you've heard about them before. If some of you are a thing in your country as well. Comment down below if you think it's weird. And leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I love to make Danish related videos for you. And I know that a lot of you enjoy them. So leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you aren't. And I'm gonna see you guys with my next video very soon. So thank you for watching. Bye.